Hey, ladies and gentlemen, of course, I am Trex here, still, ha still here at Valhalla Con 2014. I'm here with William Jones, yep. who is actually one of the premier act icon. I'm going to call you a premier actor here for Valhalla Con, because you're the <laughs> only actor. You're, you're really the only actor I've actually ever interviewed uh, before as well. So you've been in movies such as Cabin Fever. Yep. Uh, what other movies have you been in? I've been in local movies from Greensboro area, Bone Creek. Uh, I have to plug a couple of local movies here. Please do. Please do. Um, there is a production company called Midnight Crow Productions. It is based here in Columbia. They have a movie that's fixing to be out very soon. It's called Prelude to Infuse Code. Okay. It's a futuristic movie about uh, enhanced human, uh, enhancing the human species. You know, wow. Uh, it's, a, it's a psychological horror slash thriller. Okay. Uh, there's also another production company real close to here at 1400 block of Main Street, <laughs> DDMS Productions. Uh, they are doing a movie called Lake House. And uh, I just signed contracts last week with that movie. And that will start shooting in October. Both of these movies are locally produced. I urge people to, uh, to check them out. I never knew that. I knew there was always production companies locally. I just didn't know they were actually like on Main Street locally. <laughs> well, uh, Midnight Crow is, is out of town a little bit, but DDMS is right here in town. Okay. I mean, and the one thing South Carolina has always needed more than anything is movies. They need more, they need the film industry to be pop booming in South Carolina. Well, as the surrounding states do away with the film incentive, uh, there'll be production companies moving, in, moving into South Carolina, Georgia, Louisiana. All right. In this area. So uh, I read the bio that you were actually a truck driver. Yes, I've been a truck driver for 34 years. Where did you go into the, in, from, tr I mean, my father has been a truck driver for actually practically all my life. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. And where did you go from being a truck driver into this acting? Uh, back in the 90s, I was in a, a horror, like a haunted house mm -hmm. back in North Carolina. It's called... Uh, uh, the original Hollywood Horror Show was put on by two brothers that do the special effects. Okay. I was a vampire there for several years and uh, got awards from doing that. And uh, they did a movie called Vampires Anonymous. I was the crew on that. That got my foot in the door, and I've done crew quite a bit. And it's only in the last five or ten years that I've started to get in front of the camera. Cabin Fever was my debut in front of the camera. So being from behind the camera into front of it, how, how, where do you see the difference with yourself and now you're... In inspiration <laughs> <laughs> well uh, when I was behind the camera I could watch what was going on uh, in the background I was on transportation department so it, I, I didn't have a, a, a task to do on set other than you know driving the cast and crew back and forth okay and uh, I could stand behind and watch what was going on see how it was done and then and apply that in front of the camera so okay. I feel being behind the camera and being able to stay on set and just watch what's going on, pay attention to what's going on, that helped me out to, to know what's going on in front of the camera. I think my first time, my first time ever really working on a movie set was when Death Sentence and Kevin Bacon were in town. I was, I got a chance to, at least for a day, go on the set, be a production assistant. So it was a lot of fun being on a movie set, especially here locally. Yeah. Um, for any person out there wanting to really jump into the film business or even just go into a movie set, what would you actually recommend uh, recommend people to do? Uh, just to be, even just be like a crew member, a little PA. Well, I, I tell people all the time that the the best thing to do is get your foot in the crew. Go online, look it for the local uh, film, you know, the film studio like one in North Carolina, it's ncfilm.com. Mm -hmm. Find the one that's local here for Columbia. See if they got it. I'm pretty sure they got it. Uh, yep, uh, South Carolina Film, film Office, office the scfilmoffice.com. Office. Go on that. Look at all the productions that's coming up. Uh, a lot of times they'll have websites on there mm -hmm. that will allow people to submit for background. Okay. And I urge everybody, don't think you're too tall, too short, too fat, too little, <laughs> uh, everything. If you look at TV shows, if you look at movies, they have to have some really creepy odd sized people yes they do so don't think that if you're not on the cover of Vogue you don't have to, you can't be on a movie that's not true <laughs> okay uh, I mean, look at me <laughs> do I look like I belong on Vogue <laughs> alright so one last question working on Cabin Fever how was that experience and especially working with Eli Roth because oh. I, I Eli Roth has really become the king of gore in my eyes yeah. he, <laughs> he uh, um, he uh, did a scene 
where uh, Serena Vincent and Serena Vincent is going to be with me and Robert Harris at MonsterCon next week. That's right, MonsterCon next week. Yeah, we're going to be, all three of us from Cabin Fever is going to be there. But uh, let me give you some idea of what Eli Roth does or did. Serena came in carrying the plate of food for Jordan Ladd's character inside the shed. Mm -hmm. And she's carefully going in there. Well, what you see is the official version. What you didn't see was Eli Roth in a black gorilla suit. This was like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. She opens up the door. He jumps out. and food goes everywhere. <laughs> so that tells you something about what Eli Roth does himself. Oh, God, I love Oh, that is amazing. That is really awesome to hear. Uh, so uh, where can we actually find you? Do you have a website or a Facebook or anything? I'm on IMDB under uh, Prelude to Infuse Co. It can be found there. Uh, anybody can type in William Jones Cabin Fever in the uh, in the search engine and, and pull up pictures, uh, places I'm going, places I've been, places I'm going. Fine, fine. Okay, awesome. Well, Mr. Jones, thank you so much for this, and uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see your next projects and everything, and hopefully, I can see you next week at MonsterCon. Yep, I'll be there. Uh, the next project, it, like I said, if it's released real soon, will be Prelude to Infuse Co. And then uh, Lake House will start shooting in October through. February on the weekend, so it'll be released sometime in the latter part of next year. All right. It's, it's a lot of local actors in that one, both of them. Good. Excellent. Guys, support local. Yes. <laughs>